morning everyone. Today is the 16th of May 2019. It is, I believe, Thursday. We have a lot of, uh, looks like mosquito larvae floating here. And guess who eats mosquito larvae? Uh, bats. So there must be bats around. Yeah, there was. We found a bat. They come out of the caves. There used to be millions of them when I was a kid living over there in Musega Beach. Um, we had um, so many, the skies were blackened from it. And same with bugs. We used to have, um, I think they were called fish flies. I remember in July. And it was so bad we'd have to stop the car on the 400 and uh, pull in for a wipe of the windshield wiper because it was just stuck with bugs. That's how many bugs. So the environment has changed. But then it does change. And it must have to do with the acid and alkaline levels, just like people are sick because of too much alkaline. And you want to change someone's diet from um, acid doses to alkaline. Do you use baking soda or that um, Bragg's apple cider vinegar? which might work, or um, I think the other company that's in town too, Reinhardt's, I think in Stainer has that now. So I'm looking for it, but I don't see that product in the stores yet. But um, we're looking at um, rocks here, and I'm thinking we're in a cavey area, but I'm not sure. Uh, because I see that was kind of indented there. And then over here, whether or not it's beavers or some kind of muskrat doing this, like, Look at the holes there. It could be also that we're at the edge, and this is kind of a bit of a, a lift, which is good for um, flood zone purposes, but there's no floods here, which is really good. Um, it's shallow here. It's sort of like an embankment of sand. And yesterday I saw, during the, the wind was sort of stirring up, and I saw there was areas where it didn't stir up. It was very odd. I took a picture of it. And uh, the next thing, uh, here we go, so we... Uh, so, here's the Canada geese. I don't see the trumpeter swans. They've probably taken a little bit of a, a swim somewhere else or a flight somewhere else. They're huge. I first saw them in Midland at the, uh, <coughs> the sanctuary there. And that was quite an amazing trip we went on. It was a school trip, I believe. Uh, what was the name of that? Oh gosh, I'll remember later. Uh, but uh, there's a lot going on in different areas. Nature preserves that sort of thing. And uh, it's enjoyable to get out in nature and to appreciate uh, what was here before man starts to muck it up. <laughs> um, there's nothing like the way it was. And that's because it followed a pattern. And those patterns have been disturbed. And we have to get back to the patterns that were original. I think so. Um, maybe the synthesis, maybe that was the only way to survive. 